Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a shop my stash. We have a baby yanking on the tripod, so this is already off to a great start. I was inspired to format my shop my stash this way by Chic Geek, so she is listed down below where I choose four to six items to get some use out of alongside my project pans because I have so many products in project pans that I just can't do a full, you know, refreshed everyday makeup drawer every single month or anything like that. So let's just quickly chat about the products that I have been using over the last few weeks. To switch it up, I want to start off with the exist the products that were in my existing makeup collection, which were these three here, and then these other three were products I had never used prior to pulling them into my shop my stash, so I'm going to be reviewing those for you today. First up, I have my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This was an old time favorite and a repurchased concealer for me, but since opening up this new tube a while ago, I haven't really focused on it, mostly because I have concealers in my other projects, but also it's just no longer a favorite. I found over the last few weeks when using this concealer, my under eyes looked really dry. Now that could be the powder I was setting it with as well, so I'm not ready to declutter it or anything. I just didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I, or as much as I knew I did in the past. I do have mine in the shade Fair Warm, which isn't a great, like the perfect shade match for me. It's fine. Fair Neutral matches me much better. Oh, the baby just closed the door. Then I have a MAC lipstick in the shade Whirl. This is a matte formula. MAC is obviously not cruelty free, but I do have it in my collection from a long time ago. No, I meant. So I wanted to get some use out of it so that these don't just go bad in my collection. This is a great deeper fall nude for me and I really do enjoy this lipstick formula. Though this is years and years old, it still has that wonderful vanilla scent to it. So I'm glad I was able to reach for this a few times. And then I have the Stila Liquid Lipstick in the shade Carmelo. This is a really pale cool toned nude. And I wore this, uh, well, the video I wore this in that you saw me wearing it was the Panners Pan update. And I had the really dark, cool toned eye look. And then this is the lip. It is a very pale nude, but I think it pairs beautifully with smokier eye looks because it doesn't, you know, compete for attention, if that makes sense. I really do like this with the lipstick formula. We have a baby smashing a one pound weight on the floor. I'm so sorry. <laughs> now these three are the ones I have been testing over the last few weeks. This is actually in my shop my stash the last round and I totally didn't even think to put in a swatch in my last shop my stash video. That's kind of hard to say. This is the Artist Couture Loose Highlight in the shade Purple Dream. It looks kind of gold in the container, but this has the most intense goldeny peach to purple shift. It is absolutely freaking stunning. It's very intense. So it has to be like with the very certain eye look, of course, but I've just had so much fun with this. I really don't know how to get the duochrome to show well on camera. Like, can you see that there's like a bit of gold and purple in there? Definitely not great <laughs> at showing swatches. I was finally able to get some use out of my Ofra and Samantha March collab blush in Chick Lit. If you watched my last shot my stash you'd see my confusion that this obviously has a bronzer sticker on it but it is the Chick Lit blush. I have absolutely loved using this. This is such a stunning shade. I'm so happy I went and purchased the full collection after it launched. And I did get the first like favorites collaboration as well. So there is going to be one of these products in my 2K giveaway whenever that happens for me. But I love that this has a mixture of a shimmery side and a matte side. I tend to 
first go in with the matte side and then kind of mix the two together to not get too much of the shimmery side as it does emphasize my really textured cheeks a bit but I also love the glow that it provides so I will get you know use out of both sides but it's such a beautiful shade let me oh no now I have that highlighter everywhere so this is the shimmery side and this is the matte side Emmett are you eating the wipes and lastly, I pulled in my Milani Soft and Sultry palette to get some use out of it. This was gifted to me by my best friend for being her maid of honor on her wedding day. She gave me and the bridesmaids this palette, and it's such a beautiful cool tone palette. I've wanted to get more use out of my cool tones to scratch the itch of the Natasha Denona Glam palette, and to kind of follow along with the tutorials people are posting with that one, but using my shopping my stash, if you will, for what I already have. Now, ironically, I don't reach for cool tones a lot because I don't feel like they look the greatest on me, but you guys really loved the look I did with this palette so far, and then it actually got randomly drawn into the panner's pan, so I will be creating at least three more looks trying to create three very different looks with this palette for that project so it's actually just going back in my everyday makeup drawer but I really do love this formula and having fun experimenting with shades I don't normally reach for. Yeah! So these were the six products that I was working on over the last few weeks. I'm going to try and behave myself. Oh, um, I meant. And only pull in four products because I am, it's crunch time on Project Pans and you guys know how 2020 has been. I really should try my best to finish off some of those projects with some empties. So let's try to only pull four things. I feel like I always pull more, but let's head over, oh my gosh, to my new makeup drawer. Can I help you? Hello? What are you doing? What are you doing, Mr. Sweetface? You're trying to knock this thing over, huh? That's not very helpful. Okay, he does not care. Okay, as you can see, we still have our helper. This is the makeup drawer of shame. Um, oh boy, wow. These are all the makeup products that I have yet to review. And each time I film a shot my stash, I ask you guys what you would like to see me pull in next time and on my last video Laura said Laura wanted to see me use the Tarte Unleashed palette um, because this does have some really nice fall shades in it and I was really excited to purchase it and then of course it ended up here so this is the palette I'm going to be pulling for my shop my stash This packaging is so beautiful and I am really happy to own this and I'm, oh my gosh, I can't open it. And I think I'm going to get a bunch of really beautiful looks out of this palette. The other product I was really thinking about when thinking about this drawer that I wanted to pull in is my elf poreless putty primer I got this for Christmas last year and it's still here and I'm almost done with my Smashbox pore minimizing primer which I feel like would do the same sort of thing you can see I'm absolutely destroying the place but I want what is my problem with opening things I want to get some use out of this. As you can see, it is absolutely brand new. Pores and texture are my two biggest skin 
concerns when it comes to, you know, primers. So I'm hoping this will work really well for me. Okay, here we are in my eyeshadow singles drawer. And I really wanted to pull in a Stila glitter. Now I do have three shades of these Stila glitter enclosed. These are mini sizes. I have Perlina, Golden Girl, and Kitten Karma. And considering I want to get more use out of cool tones as well as having some purpley shades in projects, I think I'm going to get some use out of Stila Perlina. This is a really beautiful multi-dimensional like silvery white kind of shade. I know people say they have problems with them drying out. I've had mine for a couple of years now and as you can see they're still really uh, moist, <laughs> if you will. That is a beautiful shade. Okay, I think we're going to end up pulling more than four products. Who's we'll surprised? I want to pull in, oh my gosh, he's making such a mess, one of my highlighters. I don't have that many highlighters in projects. I mean, I still have enough and enough that I'm not going to hit goal on, but I do want a lighter, more cool toned shade to again go with those more cool toned eye looks. And I was thinking about elf this is moon what is it moonlight pearls i mean that one's very subtle but it still has a bit of a champagne like a warmish undertone this is elf rose glow this is a bit of a drier formula not my favorite but it's definitely that more cool toned shade. I think I'm, that's a weird sound. I think I'm going to pull in this e.l.f. highlighter in Rose Glow. <laughs> okay, here we are in my lipstick drawer. I promise this will be it. It'll be five products instead of four. That's still pretty good for me. Um, all these are my liquid lipsticks. It is as deep as the drawer here. These are the lipsticks, liquid lipsticks that I have not used since um, April when I started this little project, if you will, that I'm not sure I'm going to stick to because 2020 has kicked my butt. But the idea was I pulled all of my liquid lipsticks out of an organizer. <laughs> And then I have this boxy charm box back here, and these are all the shades that I have used since that I have used since April. So as I use them, I put them away back here, and then hypothetically, the ones I haven't reached for in over a year, I should be able to declutter. I don't know if I'm going to keep that promise, but a lipstick that has been on my mind because I saw it sitting on top of this pile here is Ofra's liquid lipstick in, oh my gosh, the shade Havana Nights. Baby, you just like that sound, don't you? He has all of my individual eyeshadows all over the floor. And I was thinking about this because I'm working on Ofra Miami Fever in a project pan, and I was like, oh yeah, I have the other liquid lipstick that Kathleen Lights created with them. So I'm going to pull this one out as well. Let me swatch it. There is a swatch of it there. Sorry, it's a little dark over here. You're in my closet, but that is Havana Nights. So here are the five products I pulled for the next couple of weeks. I didn't even like really pick up on the fact that I pulled in two e.l.f. products. Now, because I am project panning, the goal with these is to just use them a couple of times. I'll be happy if I use the lipstick one to two times. Really, if it, I've already been using it previously, one, two plus times is like really good for me with, you know, what I have going on. And the goal with the products that are new to me are to use them enough to come back with a review. And if by the time it's my, by the time it's, time to pull new products for Shop My Stash. 
if I haven't used them enough to gather my thoughts, then they will stay in until I do so. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Again, leave in the comments below what I should pull out of my drawers next time if you'd like to see me use something. Let me know if you would like a get ready with me using these products. I've been playing around with that idea for a while as well. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!